And welcome to the calendar. I am Frank McCaffrey. This is the show where we go over the goings on in the region. We're joined by Crystal Chalee. She is the lifestyle editor of the Herald Mail and a darn good one, I might add. <laughs> Although I got to say, man, we're going to need sunglasses to look at that shirt today. I think <laughs> we're going to need sunglasses for the tie there, Frank. <laughs> I think I'm matching the background here, what do you think? <laughs> no, we're going to blend in. Yes, this tie is pretty loud. We need, we need to do a mic check on my tie. Mic check on my tie. <laughs> All right. Okay. We got, we're having fun today. It's a, a holiday lot going, week. It's a holiday week. We got a lot going on. So bear with us. We're having fun. We're celebrating America's independence. Yes. And of course, let's kick things off with the Independence Day celebration. Well, there are, very, there are a lot of them this week, of course, but the one we're going to talk about first is the one in Boonesboro. And uh, the Roarsville Band will be performing. Anybody hasn't um, been there before? They're an amazing band. Been, I think, more than 150 years. Of course, not original members, but uh, <laughs> they'll be there performing. Plenty of things to do, plenty of things to eat, and fireworks at dusk. That's what everybody's looking for, right? Fireworks, good fireworks to play, and they'll have that at Schaefer Park and Boone's Bar. All right, and uh, I see here there's a note that the rain date is actually July 5th. The wonders of technology interfering in our show. <laughs> the, uh, we, we're so tech savvy, we've got things beeping. Uh, the rain date is July 5th. That is not Independence Day. The 4th of July's date is actually 4th of July. Okay, <laughs> let's put that information up on the screen. Independence Day celebration, 5 p.m., Wednesday, July 3rd. Schaefer Park, 37 Park Drive, Boonesboro. Go to that web page on the screen for more. Now we have another Independence Day celebration of sorts, Independence Eve at Plum Grove Mansion. Yeah, this is aptly a name with, because it is July 3rd on Wednesday. Again, this is another event that's great. Um, I grew up in Clear Spring, as I've mentioned like a bajillion times. But the Plum Grove Mansion up there, um, they'll be having... Um, a lot of events. If you go up there early, they'll have um, blue, usually it's bluegrass music. There'll be a lot of fun to do. Um, there'll be food there you can purchase and then games for the kids. So this is really a family event. And then when it starts to get dark about 930, there's going to be uh, fireworks. Ah, of course. Yeah, I'm a little tip. I always parked at Draper Road because you don't have to like get into the like the mush of it. But you can't you can't really do that if you want to actually go to Plum Grove. You know, you can never really go wrong with fireworks. No, I mean, there's just something great about fireworks. I mean, it, it's like, you know, you've seen them every time, every year, but you still, I don't know. It still uh, brings joy. It still brings joy, and there's still <laughs> something about that grand finale at the very end where they all go off and you right. hear the loud boom. It's amazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put that information up on the screen. That is Independence Eve at Plum Grove Mansion, 5 p.m. Wednesday, July 3rd, Plum Grove Mansion, 12654. Broad Fording Road in Clear Spring. Call that number on the screen for more. Now, okay, now we're taking a break from all the Independence Day festivities mm -hmm. to talk about the Contemporary American Theater Festival. This also sounds very interesting. Yeah, um, this has been going on for more than 20 years now in Shepherdstown, and it has grown to include five um, plays by Contemporary American Playwrights. So that's like people who are still alive. <laughs> and the great thing is, is like this is something you could go to D.C. to see or New York to see, but it's right here in the little town of Shepherdstown. Um, there's five sh plays this year, Heartless by Sam Shepard. Yes, the Sam Shepard. And basically Sally lives with her sister and mom and a family nurse when her lover arrives and things go a little crazy. Um, there's going to be a weird world premiere that, of Discourse of the Wonders of the Invisible War World by Lizzie Duffy Adams. I just interviewed her in Sunday's paper if you want to read that. She takes place in around 1702, 10 years after the Salem Witch Trials, and Abigail Williams returns to her hometown to make sense of her, her youth and the craziness of the witch trials. So that will be pretty interesting. Modern Terrorism, or They Who Want to Kill Us and How We Learn to Love Them by John Kern is a black comedy <laughs> about people trying to blow up the Empire State Building. Um, another world premiere, Scott and Hem in the Garden of Allah by Mark St. Germain. And that's about the friendship of F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway. And an another pr world premiere, H2O by Jay Martin. Um, a man catapults into the Hollywood scene, really, and while, and while on his way to go to Broadway to stage Ophelia, finds a woman who basically saves his life. So it's, it's a little bit about a love story, drama, dramedy, as they call it. Now, there are a great thing. You can buy individual tickets. You can buy passes for all five plays. If you live in West Virginia, there's also a discount. There's also CATF at the movies because a lot of the film plays that we've seen at Shepherdstown over the years have gone to become films. 
Um, Farragut North is one example. I can't, all of a sudden I'm blanking on the actual movie with George Clooney. Lunch and art events. Um, it actually opens on Wednesday, but the actual official opening night is Friday night. Well, you know, you're talking about this this uh, story about the friendship of F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest, Ernest Hemingway. One would probably enjoy hearing a conversation between those two, <laughs> two literary know. giants. Yeah, I, I just picture like Hemingway sitting there like, you know, petting his six-toed cat and drinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I'm told he was a character. Yeah. Though, anyway. Okay, so let's put that information up on the screen. The Contemporary American Theater Festival, various times, Wednesday, July 3rd through Sunday, July 28th, opening night, Friday, July 5th. Tickets cost $57 for individual or $51 for seniors. Sunday night's $30. That's at the Shepherd University campus, Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Call that number or go to that web page on the screen for more. Now we have another 4th of July event. Now we, we might not be able to get to it all in this half of the show if we have to talk about this in the second half. So be it. Fourth in the park. This is actually the 4th of July on the 4th. So just to clarify <laughs> that. It's at Byron Park um, in Williamsport. Um, they're having family activities, food. Um, there's a concert by the Williamsport Community Band and fireworks. The swimming pool, too, will be open with a special uh, disc admission prices. So, you know, it's a day of sun, fun, swimming. Fireworks. Can't go wrong with sun, fun, swimming, and fireworks. fireworks. <laughs> maybe <laughs> add a few snacks and for yeah. some, maybe a few beverages of, it, of certain, exactly. certain sorts and, and you've got <laughs> it all. We can't have that at this Byron Park. Oh, okay. Then, no, then, no, no, no. Yeah. Forget I said that. Okay, let's put that information up on the screen real quickly. We do have time for this. Right. Fourth in the Park, 5 p.m., Thursday, July 4th, Byron Memorial Park off US 11 Williamsport. Admission to swimming pool, $4, $2 for children. Call that number on the screen for more. Now, we've got a lot coming up in the second half. More fireworks, more Independence Day celebrations, <laughs> more good food, more fun. We need sparklers. <laughs> we should. I, I should put on a, a red, white, and blue hat and a vest uh, <laughs> like a, Apollo Creed in, in Rocky Part 1 and, <laughs> and demand that the national anthem be played there when, when I enter the room. Okay, so my point being, stay with us. We're going to have a lot more coming up on the second half of the calendar after the break.